Hi, my name's Gary, but my friends call me G-Dog, and I'm here to take time out of my poker competition in Las Vegas to talk to you about my media film, my media poster, and my media article, and how they correlate. So I'm going to kick things off by starting with the colour scheme. Now, the colour scheme is... Um, pretty much the same throughout all three mediums. Um, so we tend to have a black background and then white font. Um, we tend to use, in all three we use this font, we use black and white, the colours, not only to replicate old fashioned Hollywood and keep it black and white just like they did in the olden days, um, but also to again give it that vintage feel. Um, but also black and white together, they juxtapose so much that it really pops. So in our article, you can really um, uh, see the text. It grabs your attention. And the same with our poster. It really is eye-catching and it really um, helps the audience to just go double take. So that's why we use those. Um, what else? Uh, in the article, normally we use the white font and then a black background, but in the article we did use um, black font and a white background just to replicate um, Little White Lies. Um, uh, Little White Lies, yeah, the article. I've got some things for you here, if we can see it. Um, oh, come on, get close. There we go. So there you go, you can see that. That's the article. And then if I just click here, and that's our poster. So there you've got the black background and the white. So let me talk to you a bit more about that, darling. I'm going to have to take this off because I can't really see. Pity. Um, thought it was being cool. So yeah, we've got the still reminiscent. On our article, we also have a necklace, which is falling down and it's faded in the back. This again, um, exudes glamour. It really goes with the whole idea that we're trying to convey of the old fashioned Hollywood, um, which is really our main sort of strong. And that's what we wanted to communicate in all three. So we have that in the back. Um, which is like a pearls. Pearls are also sort of old fashioned, I would say. I'd say that, you know, if we wanted to keep it modern, we would have a one of these or maybe a ring, but pearls are quite old fashioned. Um, yes. So we had a concurrent theme. Um, blah, 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 blah. Going on to the typography. They, one of my favourite words, and one of my favourite things in media, because I just think you can tell so much with the typography. So, um, we used, as you saw, the white curly writing, not only to remain classy and glamorous, just like our film, but I also feel that that style of writing is also reminiscent of their autographs. If you look at Catherine Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, or Joan Crawford's autograph, it has a very sort of swirly-whirly writing, um, very eccentric, very posh and extravagant. And so I thought that's why we should choose it, because it really exemplifies um, that theory. Um, da -da -da. for our camera work, so in our um poster, we used a solid long shot, um as you can see here, it's a solid long um that thing that picture is actually in our film, um and it's an establishing shot. We chose it not only because it creates enigma um and it allows the audience to see the silhouette of the actress but of the actors, but you also wonder, like, what's their story and how they're going to replicate these amazing Hollywood actresses. So that's why we chose that. And then for our article, we um, zoomed in on Marilyn Monroe on her over-eccentric pose, and we put it in a film strip um, because we thought this would not only give comedy, but um, it also plays with this pop art culture that Little White Lies have, this sort of cheeky on the edge... It's kind of, you know, left wing. Um, and then in our film, we have lots of clumsy handheld camera movements, again, to give a sense of mockumentary and also to inject comedy, really, um, and give a sense of behind the scenes. So um, in our poster, you've sort of got this, um, oh, my God, the camera's on, I better act up. And the same in the article. It's sort of this fun, playful thing that Marilyn does. But in our film, you actually see the real characters, which I think is the exciting part about our film, is you think you're going to see these glamorous icons when actually they're just a disappointment. They're a bit rude. Um... 
we also have three similar platforms and um, basically what I've been saying is that the reason why we've kept it co concurrent um, throughout all three and we've tried to keep the same type of font and the same type of orthography is again just to really create a um, very strong um, not only three very strong individual products but to keep it together and to create a strong franchise for the film so that if we ever did have to sell this film it would be very easy to sell because we've got three arguments that we are just pushing out there and they all support each other and they all elevate each other so if an audience saw the poster they would look at the f they would want to look at the article maybe and then that article would in turn stimulate them to go and watch the film so they all sort of work with each other um so they do and you know our film